your smart online order page or your website or wherever you install the application by default when customers try to add an item to the cart it says the following select the quantity then they can choose the quantity from here if for some reason you don't want them to be asked this question you can remove that or make him go straight to the modifiers let me show you how to do that the first thing you do is log into the back end of your website your order online page if you don't know how to get here do a search for on youtube type in smart online order login once you find out how to get back here and you, if you still can't figure it out contact your web developer and they will explain to you how to log into the back end of your website once you have that figured out press clover orders settings settings right here and then from here you'll have all these options okay and by the way here's all the video tutorials uh, so try to subscribe to the YouTube channel that way you can get informed on the latest features updates uh, helpful articles and videos okay and you can also click on this one too we, we update this periodically so now let's get to the question at hand here which is how do you get rid of the quantity so what you do is you press store interface right here and the next thing you do is you find out the store interface you're using. Each store interface has different features. So this is the one we're using, and we're going to press Customize right here. Towards the very bottom, there's a question that says, Show quantity pop-up window after adding any item to cart. Any item means all items. This one is different. This is Show quantity pop-up window, uh, window for items with modifiers. Okay, So let me tell you the difference this is any item this is items with modifiers okay now you have to ask yourself the question do you want quantity pop-up for this one or do you want quantity pop-up for this one so if you if you want it for this but don't want it for that then you write the correct answer the correct uh, selection here would be to turn this off because we're saying we don't want a quantity pop-up window quantity pop-up window is what again this is called a quantity pop-up window. We don't want this for this. And what is that? That's this. Options are modifiers. It's just another way of saying it. Okay. I, I, I disabled it. I press save options. Okay. And then I refresh the page. But first, before I refresh the page, take a look at what it says now. It says choose quantity and options. This one says add to cart. We change this one. We're going to refresh the page here now it's going to say something different now it says choose options and quantity see how we went from here to there now we went straight to the modifiers that's how you skip that but this one still has it uh you're probably wondering why this one still have it but this one doesn't again it goes back to the setting here because we told this one to ask it we told if it has a modifier don't ask for it so let me show you one uh, another way of looking at it i'm going to disable this one too and then I'm going to go back here again, refresh the page. Now, this one won't ask me for a quantity either. Add it to the card, one item. But it's good to have a quantity for this um, because customers may want to quickly add a few of them. But with modifiers, that one is, you know, based on your circumstance, you want to change that. Let me go ahead, uh, turn this back on. Okay. Now, uh, since I'm already making this video, I'm going to address one more question. Because you may be wondering, look, it says quantity again. Why does it say quantity? Well, the reason is because modifiers also have quantities. Look, right? Quantity. Okay. Now, you probably, you're probably wondering, how do I get rid of this quantity? You can do that too. So how do you do that? You go back to your back end of your website. You press Clover Order Settings right here, Settings. And then this time, you're going to choose Modifiers. Where's Modifiers at? It's in the blue area on the left-hand side right here. It's the fourth one down, uh, fifth one down, sorry, right here. Okay, now scroll to the very bottom, very, very bottom. You'll see something called Modifier Settings. It's going to ask a similar question like the other time, okay? So make sure you read this carefully. This one we're going to leave alone because we like a pop-up window. You may like yours underneath, but the point is these two here, okay? We're gonna focus on these two. It's asking us two questions. 
allow customers to choose the modifier quantity for all modifiers. So you're probably wondering, what does that mean, all modifiers? Okay, let me, let me tell you what that means. These are all modifiers, whether they're free or whether you pay for them. They're all modifiers, okay? This is customers choose modifier quantity when the modifier is zero. What is that? This is zero. See how it doesn't have a price? It's zero, um, so, right? Uh, let me show you if there's any more. Zero, 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 zero. See, these are all zero quantity. So based on your needs, but my recommendation, again, you're, it's up to you how you want to do this because every business is different. The way I would do it is if it has a price, you want them to choose more because they you, you earn more money because you want them to choose additional um, modifiers. But when it comes to free ones, you don't want to give them a lot of free ones, right? You don't want to give them 10 extra broth, right? You don't want to give them, um, you know, six chicken, chicken broth, right? So in this scenario, the best way to do it is don't give them extra free modifiers, okay? Um, because, I mean, sorry, not give them extra. You don't want them to choose a quantity for it. So you press no here. Now when I go back here and refresh the page, let it finish its uh, updating. Okay, now we're going to refresh the page. Okay, now we're going to go back here again. And then I'm going to order this. As you remember from last time, what did I do last time? I went here and I told it, hey, uh, don't allow quantity modifier for free items. I mean, sorry, for free prices. Modifier with zero price. So now when I go here, you'll notice that I can't go up and down. I can't choose more than one. But when there's a price associated with it, I can do that. See that? Look. Okay. See the difference? Again, I can't do a modifier here, but I can do a modifier here. Again, this is based on your circumstance, so you do according to your needs. I'm just showing you some options for you out there, so every business is different. And if you don't want them to choose quantity for paid modifiers, then you can change that. How do you change that? From here, you put no right here. So it's allow customers to choose modifier quantity for all modifiers. You put no. Okay, but for now, these are the settings I'm going to use, okay? Uh, in your in your situation may be different. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great day.